France is a country politically divided as three or four main candidates ran for president of the nation. The top contenders were Marie Le Pen, a far-right pseudo-Nazi nationalist, Manuel Marcon, a very moderate centrist, Francois Fillon, the candidate for the center-right Les Republicains. Finally, the great first world is hope, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, came in at the back of the leaders. The vote ended in a minority victory, which means the top two, Le Pen and Marcon, will face off against each other in a runoff vote on May 7th. Interestingly, Francois Fillon's Republican Party finished the first round with 19.91% and did not advance to the second round for the first time in decades. This signals a major defeat for Les Republicains. First Worldists were quite enthused that another bearing the banner of socialism was running for office. Once again, they were treated to a healthy dose of reality. The public went in a direction off far right and center. It cannot be denied that the majority of the French people are not in support of a leftist candidate. They are not supportive of leftism. Many simply consider France to be left in general simply in comparison to the United States. Too many First Worldists have romanticized the views of the French people given their history of the French Revolution and the 68 Uprising. History has shown us that political and or economic crisis approaches the First World. The people gravitate towards fascism. It still remains to be seen who will come out on top, Le Pen or Marcon. That decision is up to the French people to make. In either case, the left has been rejected by the French electorate. A lot of First Worlders were placing a lot of hope in the hologram appearing leftist. He was touted by many First Worldist blogs and programs to be the candidate that the leftists should support. The reform that people have been looking for is one primary reason. What is entirely forgotten by First Worldists is that reform doesn't work. It leads nowhere. Again, the lessons of the past are being forgotten. Revolution is the only solution. This same hype was placed behind Francois Hollande. He was the great First Worldist hope before Melanchon. It was believed that if he was elected, that everything was going to be okay. France was going to turn hard left, and the spirit of 68 would rise again. What the people were given was the imperialist invasion of Malawi. Electing Melanchon would unlikely have changed anything. Voting in socialists has almost never had any positive effect. The only noticeable ex exception would be Hugo Chavez. Revolution cannot be voted in. It must come from an authoritarian act of one class overthrowing another. Voting in Melanchon would be no such revolutionary act. And like the hologram he used to appear on stage, his presidency would be just as substanceless. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.